Are you happy with your life? Are you happy with the results that you see around you? Or is there a part of yourself that deep down inside knows that you've settled in your life? You've settled for a life of mediocrity and being average. That you've had these goals and desires and dreams for yourself and your life. In your mind, you've seen the vision of what it could be. But there's a part of you that's given up. There's a part of you that's bought into the stories of everyone else around you, the limitations that are self-imposed about why you can't do it, why you can't go for it, why you can't have it all. Most people have settled in their lives because they compare themselves to everyone else around them, their friends and family that have also given up on their goals and dreams and settled for an average life. And so you compare yourself to everyone else and you rationalize why it's okay, why it's acceptable to live the way that you're living right now. Instead of comparing yourself to the potential of who you could become and the life that you could have. And when you do try to go for it, you try to dream and build a business and change your body and change your relationships and do something different than everyone else is doing, they hold you back. They hold you back and they say, don't work so hard. That's too risky. That's a scam. Don't do this. You gotta enjoy your life. You gotta have fun. You gotta live for the moment. You're gonna get burnt out. Don't stress out so much. And they're imposing their mediocre mindset into you. They're like a fucking parasite. That the moment you allow that to enter into yourself, it slowly kills your potential of what you could be and have and do. Never listen to someone, guys, that's given up on their dreams. Never listen to someone that doesn't have the life that you want. If you want their life, listen to them. If you don't, if they don't inspire you, if they're not living with fucking passion and purpose and intention, then don't listen to that. You gotta compare yourself to who you want to become the best version of you and surround yourself with people that have higher standards than you have. You know guys, there's some days in my life I wake up in the morning and I'm pissed off. I'm angry, I'm frustrated. I look myself in the mirror and I'm flooded with anxiety because I know that there's only so much time. Time is a depreciating asset, second by second. You're losing the opportunity of who you could become and the life that you could have. And I believe in myself so much that I know that I haven't even scratched the surface yet. I haven't scratched the surface of who I could become and the life I could have. That the life that I'm living now, as great as it, as it is, I'm proud of myself and my life and what I've accomplished and what I've done but it's not even close to who I could become and what I want to do in this life. I've made that unacceptable for me because I'm not comparing myself to the average person. I'm comparing myself to the best of what's available for me. We only get one shot through this life. I'm going to make it fucking count. I'm going to make it count and I want the max experience of life. I don't want an average mediocre life. I want more, and if you're watching this right now, then I can imagine you want more too. If you're someone that doesn't want more, then you're watching the wrong dude. You're on the wrong channel. You should unsubscribe and get out of here. But if you're still watching, then that tells me that you are someone that wants more. And most people, they're not gonna have this direct conversation with themselves because it doesn't feel comfortable. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good to, be, to challenge yourself or to have someone like myself challenge you right now on how you're living your life. Because for most of you, as hard as you're trying right now, it's not enough. It's not enough. You've got to raise your standards if you really want your life to change. You've got to do something that's extraordinary, that's, that's out of the ordinary of what most people are doing. You most do what most people are doing in their lives, you're going to get what most people are getting, which is not much. You've got to up your game. You've got to raise your standards. You've got to make some new decisions for yourself and your life 
that are not going to be easy to make, but are going to be necessary to get you to where you want to go. They're going to be necessary to get outside of your comfort zone, also known as your danger zone, because as long as you stay in it, you're not going to fucking grow. The life you want, the person you want to become is outside of your realm of comfort. You must step outside of it in order to grow and get the life that you want. Everything that you want is on the other side of it. Your fear, your limitations, you've got to get over it. You've got to conquer it. You've got to face those inner demons that you have that are holding you back and keeping you stuck because the same level of thinking that's gotten you to where you are right now is not going to get you to where you want to go. You got to do something different. You got to, you got to risk things in your life. You got to be willing to fail. You got to be willing to go to an extreme. That's why only 1% of people make it. That's only 1% of people are successful. They're willing to do what the failures won't do. They're willing to go against the, 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 the mediocre life and standards and beliefs of society and do something different than that and make the sacrifices in their life to go for it and do whatever, you know, everyone else says that they're crazy or they're stupid or whatever it is, but they do it anyways because they defy the odds. That, that's what makes someone an inspiration. In life, you're either a warning or you're an example. You're a warning of how not to live your life in which case, stay the fuck away from those people, learn from their failures and fuck ups so that that can benefit you, or you're an example of how to be, how to live. You're a role model. You're an inspiration to others because you're doing what's different than everyone else. And in order to do that, you have to buy back in to your vision and your dreams. Your imagination is a preview of your life's coming attractions. You must tap into it and utilize it. Einstein said that imagination is more powerful than knowledge because knowledge is what is, imagination is what could be. You have to imagine and see it because everything that happens in your external world first starts up here. It starts as a thought, an idea, and a vision. You gotta see it so clearly and want it so bad and believe in it believe in the journey and the process that you're going to embark on even though it's a lonely road you're not going to see many other references and other people that you're going to go this path and you might have to leave behind and do something different than everyone else it's the road less traveled that leads to the path of success of fulfillment of passion of the results that you want but you have to have the courage to embark on the journey you must believe in the journey and also believe in yourself. Inside your mind, there's two voices. There's the voice of fear and doubt and limitations. That's your mind doing its thing. It's going to look for reasons why you can't have what you want. But there's another voice inside yourself, which is the voice of your potential. It's the voice of your best self. It's the voice that says you can do it. You can be, do, have anything that you want and, and that you desire. It's your choice what voice you're going to listen to. I choose to listen to the voice of potential, of the life I want. Don't buy into the stories. Don't buy into the BS belief systems that are holding you back and preventing you from getting to where you want to go. Feed your mind with whatever will empower you and serve you to get to where you want to be. And be willing to go for it because part of getting what you want is knowing the price you have to pay to have it. You must be willing to sacrifice who you are for who you could become. Are you willing to? Are you willing to step up? Are you willing to raise your standards? Are you willing to defy the odds of what everyone else says and does, it can't be done, but there's a part of you that deep down inside says, fuck that, I'm gonna make it happen. I will find the way or make the way. You've gotta conjure up and summon that intensity and passion within yourself to go for it. 
and stop looking for the approval and permission of everyone else around you. You'll never get it. If they've settled in their lives, then they're not going to give that to you. You've got to give that to yourself and believe in yourself no matter what. Even when no one else believes in you, you must believe in you. That's how it works. Believe in yourself. Believe in your vision. Make the decisions today in your life that will get you to where you want to go. And that's not to say it's not, it's not going to be easy. You're going to fail. You're going to make mistakes. But when you want it bad enough and you believe in yourself, you just keep going. You keep going. You pick yourself up. You learn. You grow from it. You know, success is going from failure to failure to failure to failure without losing enthusiasm along the way. And I can promise you, if you do decide to go for it, if you do decide that, you know what, I refuse to settle, you make the decision that I made when I was 17 years old, years old in my life where I looked myself in the mirror and I said, I'll never again settle for a life that's not the life that I deserve. When you make that decision, on the other side of that is freedom. On the other side of that is no fucking regrets. That's what I want to have to say on my tombstone one day, no fucking regrets. Because I'd much rather face the pain of discipline today, the pain of going for it, the pain of rejection, the pain of failure. I'd much rather face that today and make the down payments today in my life than at the end of my days have the pain of regret. If you're living for today and you're not investing today for your future, I can promise you you will have tremendous regret in your life. It's up to you to decide who do you want to be? What do you want? What's the life that you want? And to make that decision today that you'll never again settle for less than you can be, do, have, give, or experience. The choice is yours. Thanks for watching.